In this video, we are talking about something that we hear from other attorneys, CPAs, even financial planners, that is completely wrong about asset protection trusts. So check out the video and find out what this thing is that so many people get wrong. So Shreya the other day, I was reviewing a life insurance trust, an islet, okay. irrevocable life insurance trust. I came across a provision or a paragraph within the trust, and it made me think about this thing that people get wrong about asset protection trusts. Sure. All of the time. Particularly those who do not focus on asset protection. Yes. If you set up an irrevocable trust that you have completely given away the assets in the trust, you can't use them, you can't benefit from them. You can't change the trust. You can't change the trust. For an asset protection trust, that is not the story. Right, because there are many kinds of irrevocable trusts. Exactly. So let's look at the text in the irrevocable life insurance trust. It reads, this trust is irrevocable and I cannot alter, amend, revoke, or terminate it in any way. Scary language it's for scary some language. people. But see, the thing is, an islet is a tax trust. The trust is set up so that the assets in the trust, the life insurance is now part of your taxable estate. When you Which die. is very useful for some people. Yeah. That's why they have those provisions that you can't alter it. Because if you could alter it, if you could still benefit from it, it would be included in your taxable estate. So let's look at some language from that irrevocable asset protection trust. So here we have discretionary irrevocable trust. The trust shall be a discretionary blah, blah, on the terms set out in this agreement. So then you go through the terms of the agreement and you will see the trustee may, with the consent of the protector at any time or times during the discretionary period, by writing, make any alterations, deletions, amendments, or additions to the provisions of this agreement. Essentially, this irre irrevocable, it's like when we made the Caribbean, Caribbean video. Yeah. This trust. I still say irrevocable. I think I'm saying both. Either way, an asset protection trust can be modified, altered, depending on the situation. Right. So in that way, it's not the same as an irrevocable life insurance trust. Right. Or some of the other estate tax or tax focused irrevocable trusts. Yes. We talk to people about setting up these asset protection trusts. And they don't know us, you know, we're, we're new to them. Maybe they've seen some of these videos, read some material, they, they talk to us, but they might still have another trusted advisor in their life who they want to run by the idea of setting a protection trust up. They oftentimes come back with some, some bad information. Right. Because that advisor is not familiar with the asset protection trust. They're more likely familiar with the state planning type trusts, revocable trusts, where once you set it up, the asset is gone, you can't change anything. But again, not the case. Right. And we will often draft a letter to send our clients so that they can pass that on to their other trusted advisors. And we always welcome them to introduce them to us so we can all chat about it because we understand that asset protection trusts not everyone, not even all attorneys are super familiar with them. We are always happy to educate. Yes, we are. That's why we're making this video. We are. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, do the things that people ask, you know, make it a like, that sort of thing. It helps us get out to more people to teach them about asset protection trusts. Thank you for watching. See you next time.